So what is dysautonomia? It's quite a mouthful, right? Your body's control system has gone haywire. So I want you to think of your automatic or autonomic nervous system as your body's autopilot. It controls all the things you don't have to think about. Your heart rate, your blood pressure, digestion, temperature regulation, how much you sweat, if your pupils are dilating or constricted. And your autonomic nervous system has two main branches. I know this firsthand. When my own symptoms started related to blood pressure and getting dizzy when I changed positions, I couldn't really understand why or how all of this was together, right? Why would my Sjogren's, which is just causing dry eyes and dry mouth, be affecting my heart rate or my digestion or my ability to regulate my body's temperature? So what is this connection between Sjogren's and dysautonomia and why does this happen? Here's what's fascinating about the research. The autonomic problems in Sjogren's often don't correlate with how severe your dryness or glandular symptoms are. You might have relatively mild dry as eyes and mouth, but significant neurologic problems or autonomic dysfunction or vice versa. And this tells us something really important. This is not just about gland destruction. Your immune system is producing autoantibodies that can directly target autonomic nerve fibers and receptors, specifically antibodies target, targeting muscarinic M3 receptors can affect both glandular function and autonomic regulation. But these aren't particular things that we can easily test for in clinic, right? It's not a test that I can just click a box and send blood work to check for these. I also want you to think of it in another way. Your immune system has created proteins, antibody proteins that are like keys. They're opening the wrong locks throughout your body. And they're not just affecting your tear or saliva production, they're also interfering with the nerve signals that control your heart rate, your blood pressure, digestion, and temperature regulation. And this is why dysautonomia and Sjogren's can sometimes respond to immunomodulatory therapy, so things that turn down inflammation. We're not just treating symptoms, we're potentially addressing the underlying autoimmune and autoinflammatory process that's driving this whole show.